East Dallas Christian Church is a member congregation of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, which was founded in the early to mid 1800s as a unity movement that hoped to unite the various denominations back into the one body of Jesus Christ. However, after 150 years of being church, we've come to an understanding that unity does not mean total unification, that we affirm the value of the diversity of Christ's body through the various denominations and independent congregations. Our particular part of the body is organized in this way. Each individual congregation makes decisions for itself, how is it organized, who its ministerial staff are, and how money is raised and spent. Each congregation is financially independent. They get help from a collective of other DOC churches in their geographic area, known as the region. East Dallas Christian Church is located in the southwest region of the Christian Church of the Disciples of Christ, which includes Texas and New Mexico and several churches in Oklahoma. There is a regional office that is structured to be a resource to the congregations in their region. And each congregation covenants with the region to make offerings to support the work that they do. An even larger resource is available from the General Church of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in the United States and Canada. Our general office is located in Indianapolis, Indiana and is the place where the database for all ministers in good standing are kept to share with congregations in search and call or looking for a minister to join their congregation. It also brings various resources and programs to all congregations, such as Sunday school curriculum or curriculums for disciples men and disciples women, or youth and families resources. Each congregation covenants with the denominational general church to provide part of their offerings to support the work that they do. However helpful the general and regional structures are, it is the congregational structure that truly guides each church. At East Dallas Christian Church, we are structured in this way. First and foremost, the decision-making body of the congregation, the final word is the congregation, which is made up of all baptized individuals who have claimed East Dallas Christian Church as their church home. The congregation has a, the final say in who its leaders are, both those of us who are paid and those of us who are volunteer, and also for how the ministry will be paid for. Major decisions that impact the whole membership of East Dallas Christian Church are made at congregational meetings when all the members are called together for consultation and direction. But in between, for the consistent annual activities and needs of the congregation, the church entrusts its staff and elected leaders to guide us for day-to-day -day operations and for the overall vision and ministry of the church, the congregation calls ordained ministers like Pastor Allison and our minister of worship and music, Keith Critcher and myself, and employs staff like Raymond Talentino, our business administrator, Janie Outs, our director of outreach ministries, Luann Johnson, our church secretary and office administrator, Peggy McCurdy, our longtime hostess and, and program coordinator, Damaso Luna, who is our head custodian, and Rob Garland, who is our facility manager. All of these people, plus uh, Maria Chavez, our assistant custodian, our nursery workers, all of our paid choir singers, we are all hired by the congregation to do the ministry and to live out the vision of our church. We, in turn, work directly with members who are elected to an official board by elected leaders. This year's officers are President Marvin Coors, Vice President Bob Hearn, Secretary Linda Weir, and a treasurer who'll be announced soon. 
Also, voting members of the board are our trustees, who are our legal representatives made up of our past three congregational presidents, Kevin Kilpatrick, Cindy McCarthy, and Toby Asherbronner. They also oversee the personnel and scholarship committees. In addition to our officers, the board also includes all of you who are committee chairs. You are the ones who plan and enact the ministry of East Dallas Christian Church. Here are the lists of our current committees and their 2021 chairpeople. Church Life, Cindy McCarthy and Jamie Griffin. Plans fellowship and fun activities, oversees membership, care, adult education, small groups, and wellness ministries in our congregation. New Connections, led by Valencia Hearn, manages the invitational and marketing ministries of our church, previously known as evangelism and or church growth. Children and Youth Committee, led by Alicia Petty and Melinda Gleber, cares for the educational and fellowship needs of the youngest in our faith community. Outreach, led by Brett Powell, plans events involving our church members out in the community that, addre that addresses community needs. Worship and Music Committees, led by Chris Harrison and Lisa Taylor, respectively, plans events that lifts our hearts on Sunday mornings, special services, and, of course, our concert series. Property, led by Owen Hooten and Doug Lukemeyer, entrusted to keep up with the maintenance of our building and grow our facilities. Our finance committee at this time has no chair or treasurer, but that person, when chosen, is responsible for raising the money and managing our donations that sustain our ministry. And finally, our Revenue Growth Committee, led by Steve Lilly, is a new committee that looks creatively at how we use our facilities as an asset, as a resource to undergird our budget. The official board also includes the leaders of our fellowship groups, Disciples Women, led by Sharon Swink, and Disciples Men, led by Greg Byrne. Finally, the official board includes and is deeply guided by the leadership of our spiritual life ministry, the chair of the Board of Elders, led by Janie Otts, and one of the co-chairs of the Board of Deacons, this year led by Elaine Burkett, Ira Jackson, and Justin Griffith. To help expedite the official board and congregational meetings, the executive committee made up of the four officers and the two ordained ministers meet regularly to determine priorities and actions for the life of our church. And I'd like to conclude this section of the board's work by highlighting the role of leadership liaisons. Every group represented on the official board has a member or members of the executive committee and or staff assigned to them as a leadership liaison. Here are the 2021 board liaisons. For children and youth, Pastor Allison. Church Life, Pastor Allison and Janie Outs. Disciples Men, Reverend Deborah. Disciples Women, Reverend Deborah. Finance, Raymond Tolentino, Marvin Coors, and Reverend Deborah. Music, Keith Critcher and Marvin Coors. New Connections, Pastor Allison and Bob Hearn. Outreach, Janie Outs and Linda Weir. Property, Raymond Tolentino, Reverend Deborah, and Bob Hearn. Revenue Growth, Reverend Deborah, Marvin Coors, and Bob Hearn. Trustees, Reverend Deborah, and Worship, Keith Critcher, Reverend Deborah, and Pastor Allison. Please invite these folks to your meetings as a part of your committee's ongoing work. They will bring information about what the broader church is doing and can take your questions and concerns to the staff and the executive committee. In conclusion, if this is still confusing 
and you need a little bit more help in understanding how East Dallas Christian Church is organized. All of this is found in your church bylaws, available to any of you if you need good bedtime reading, and which are regularly amended and kept up as the changing needs of our congregation emerge over time. We hope that this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask anyone who is on staff or on the executive committee, and we'll do our best to help.